Hello YouTube, it is Dion. Today is April 12th, 2019. Quick face of the day to show you what I used. I used um, one of the Urban Decay primers. This one is Eden. It had me looking really crazy. And it would not like blend down. I do believe this is their matte primer. But because this was all over my lid and it was looking crazy, I'm, I thought I was going to have to wash my face and well my eyes and get it off and start over. But I didn't. I made it work. I used, I have everything written down here because I cannot read off the labels without my reading glasses. <laughs> so using my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, I used Naked 2 all over my entire eye space from my lid all the way up into up to my brow bone because I needed to cover up that primer, it looked atrocious. And then I used Faint in my crease and I used Foxy as a brow bone highlight and then it was sort of looking okay so I was starting to be like okay this will work and I won't have to redo my my entire face then I went to the Ace Beauté Grandiose palette which I believe came in BoxyCharm Ooh, a while ago I used this color here cinnamon it looks darker in person more rosy um, but on camera, this is how it showed up or my eye it showed up really orange and I thought, oh my gosh, my, I have no orange in my shirt. I'm going to look crazy. So over top of cinnamon, I use poppy. And so that's what you see on my lid right now. And then I went back to the Urban Decay Naked Basics and used Crave in my outer corner on my upper lash line. I used the Tarte Tartus Double Take Eyeliner in black. The felt tip side I used on my upper lash line. The other side I used on both my upper and bottom waterline. For mascara, I used the Tarte Lights Camera Action. It is not Lights Camera Action. Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And on my eyebrows is another Tarte product. It is their Emphasize and this color is in Rich Brown. I am not fancy with my brows. I just want them to look natural. Okay, so after I did that, I used Smashbox Photo Finish Face Primer. This one is supposed to minimize pores. I looked like a ghost. Um, uh, I was like, why? <laughs> what is happening? It just looked really crazy on my face. Like how this looks right here, that's how it looked all over. No matter how I blended it, I had a gray cast over my entire face. It looked pale. Like how it looks right now, that's how it looked all over my entire face. And no matter how much I blended it, it just did not go away. And so then I thought again, oh my gosh, I'm gonna to have to wash my face. I said, let me just see what I can do. I don't have it in front of me. I'm still working off of a sample of the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. As I mentioned in a previous video, when I used it uh, months and months and months ago, my face broke out. And so I'm taking different care with my skin now so I'm revisiting it so I have on the Fenty foundation in 330 and I also have on their number 330 concealer under my eyes I set that with the hourglass my entire face I set my entire face with the hourglass uh, veil translucent powder and I used a Sephora puff to pat that all over and then what did I do <laughs> I used NARS Fort de France highlighter for this area I always drop something. NARS Laguna as a blush. I'm sorry, as a bronzer. For blush, this is the only thing I don't have a name for because they don't have names for their colors. This is the Sephora Spice Market Blush Palette. It would help if I open the lid, right? <laughs> so this is what that looks like. And I used this color right here which in a pan it's like uh like a reddish bronzy no it's more like a copper shimmery color in the pan that's what it looks like and so this is what i used as the blush and let's see what else did i do 
on my lips. <laughs> I use Marc Jacobs Make Me Enamored. Enamored. Make Me Enamored. And it is a lavender shade, but on my lips it just makes them look glossy. So I will swatch it on my hand for you to see what the color actually does look like. It's a beautiful color. But for me, I guess because of the natural pigment of my lips, it's like a nude, which I do really like. And I do like this color. Very moisturizing. I like how it feels. The only other thing on my face is the Scandinavia Finishing Spray, which I do like. I have these in full size. I'm away right now, so this is a travel size, so this is what I brought with me. That's everything on my face. I will list anything below. If you have any questions, ask. If you have any comments, I would love to read them. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, and I will see you soon. Bye.